China BBM. We tuned in to Philly Fame TV. You already know what the fuck going on. Huh? Let's get it. Right now we're in North, the trenches, where I hang it. I'm originally from South Philly, Fish Street Project, but my mom is from North, so my dad's from South Philly, so I'll just back and forth. But if you know me, I'm from South Philly, period. But this is my stopping ground. That's where I make all my motherfucking money. Out here, period. <laughs> and what's some of the stuff you you know you uh learned growing up here, or some of the stuff you experienced growing up around here? Uh, I experienced a lot of hatred. I mean, they love me now, but when I was violent, like I used to be real violent. Like I ain't give a fuck. People used to try to play me because I'm light skin and all that extra shit. Like I don't know, but. I had to get my shit together. That's why I made that song. <laughs> had to get my shit together. <laughs> yeah, I had to get my shit together for real. I so, was so what age was this when you was um going through this, you know, this violence phase, as you say? Like, how old were you, or how long ago was this? I mean, I stopped being violent a couple years ago. I, I really don't get into that shit no more. But like this phase stopped when I got booked. And I did my bit, and I came home. I mean, I still was intact with it a little bit, but I had to get myself, like, my mindset. Like, I'm like, no, you gotta really, you really got too much potential, like. You do every fucking thing. Even though I was always in the shit, it was never about me. It was always because I'm riding for my friends. I don't give a fuck. Like, some fights I had because of me is because people play with me. But I ain't never really was like that. I'm a nice person. But once I got booked, and I came home, I was already doing shit. Like, I was always modeling, had clothing line, anything you can name, hair shows. Do, I started doing makeup, I started boxing, <laughs> won all my fights, ain't nothing. Paid for everything. So, I just was doing shit and I just had to get my shit together. And now I got like a better mindset about everything. Like, I don't look at, so negative. I just take shit for what it is now, like. And I'm blossoming. Cause I used to be so boyish. Like this me, up and down the fucking street. All day. All right, so I got I got a big check on something you said, cause this something I ain't know. Right. So you said, you ended up getting booked and you did a bid. Yeah. So what you get booked for and how long did you do? How long did you do? That wasn't my first time getting booked. That was my longest bid. I ended up doing a year and a half. And it's because I violated probation. Fighting all the time. And <laughs> I'm a fucking buzz. <laughs> Period. I was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that's just all to it. I can't even tell you. Tasmanian devil, period. Everywhere, the f yeah. <laughs> but I love everybody. They love me. And it's just so, like, now I don't even, like, I could see a motherfucker that I done rumble, tore the fuck down, like. And it ain't nothing. Like, we sleep, yeah. And then I work at a bar. That helped me with my, with my um, energy. Because I love money. And money is everything. So I'm not about to let that fall through with. Yeah, I need all mine. Period. Yeah, and that's all. Like, and, um, my mom, we might see my mom walking through this joint because she out here hustling, period. The lady crazy. Listen, the lady crazy, period. That's my lady. All right. Everybody coming to me like, what oh, she do is promote you. All right. So now you do your year and a half. After, your, after your, your last situation, because you said you did some time before that, or you got locked up before that. Yeah, so that's when I was in I placement, my placement stages. I got locked up in high school for putting somebody into a seizure. And I went, they came and got me. I left the school and they put my name on the loudspeaker, but I was around the corner from the school, so I heard the shit. 
They talk about I'm gonna go down for it. <laughs> like I tried to kill the bitch, the bitch started with me. Like what the fuck? It was always people starting with me. Why y'all always started with me? So you just really like a, a real scrappy <laughs> rebel in North Philly, South Philly joy, like. I'm from Southwood, but I always been to be up here. So everybody think I'm from North. But this is my hood though, I ain't gonna lie, like this is my hood. Right. But I'm from Fisher. Right. Alright, so my family everywhere. Go ahead. So explain the transition coming home from that. Like you said you changed when you got booked, so what what was it that changed? Like explain the difference when you came back out of there. I just I, uh, like I told you, I just what's up guys? What's up y'all? better mindset about this. I just didn't want to be the way I wanted to be, like I was no more. I care less about it. Like, but now I'm to the point like, ain't nobody get me to that point. I don't give a fuck. But I'll chop you the fuck down before I even put my hands on you. But if you put your hands on me, we gonna take it there, but I'm not even on this shit. What's up with you, Chubb? What's up, gang? Yeah, like, I ain't let nobody get me to that point. Like, you ain't rocking with me? Fuck. Not, like, I don't, I just don't care for all, none of that. But if you try to bring it into my life and do some extra shit, we can, we, like, there's no other way. All right. I don't know how to deal with certain shit still to this day. Okay, okay. I shouldn't take you around my block. It's not that far. I mean, we might as well even walk all this far. Yeah, like, we like, like, around the corner. So we I ain't know we was gonna come this far, but man, we, we, we walking through the hood. Yeah, I mean, you taking them through a tour through yeah. North Side. I mean, yeah, we, we gonna go on the tour through the North Side with China. I mean, yeah, BBM, I mean. Yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, this is what happened with the trenches, man. They out here, they around. So, uh, so let's talk, all right, we talked about, you know, a little bit of your backstory and all that. I mean, a little bit of it. We ain't really get too deep. Well, let's get a little bit into it then, since okay. we had it. Let's get a little bit to how you get to this be this spicy. I mean, spicy, spicy. <laughs> yeah. Ah! So, All right, so look, we about to go to my block, Crossy. So, my brother, y'all probably heard of Ron G's. He raped. TA is my brother. Oh, that's your brother? Yeah, I, I know who he is. Okay, okay. Mind you, I never thought about rapping. I ain't even gonna lie, I probably thought about it like while I'm in the studio with them, playing with them, because I always be at the studio with them. Ron G's like, oh, we gonna do a song together. I'm like, nigga, I'm not doing no fucking song. Like, I'm out here doing too fucking much. Bartending, boxing, this one, my fight was coming up. He really talking about, he talking about doing some fucking, um, song. So I ended up doing a song. That was my first song. And everybody loved it. Oh, I'm sorry. And everybody loved it. So then, T.A. was like, oh, we gonna make a song. He ain't rap at all. But he always used to be on the block like they used to freestyle and shit. Like, he knew how to freestyle. Like, all of them knew how to freestyle. And he used, we made a song together before he passed away. He was supposed to shoot a video. Our first show we had together, I'm in the house getting dressed, whatever. I got one shoe on. Get my makeup done. These niggas high as shit. Why they make us miss the show? Because they want to act crazy. I had to fight both of them. Met both of them, they was mad at me. TA, um, they end up apologizing to me. And then like a couple weeks later, TA finished. The, we were supposed to go on the same trip together. He's like, December 10th. We were supposed to go on the same trip together, but we didn't go. I went separate, he went separate, but he, we went a month apart. And as soon as I got off the plane to go to where we were supposed to be going, they called me and said he passed away. I was going crazy down there. My heart never, I've never felt my heart feel like that, ever in my life. And my grandma was like, really, like I was really, she brought me up. Like my grandma taught me everything. She, yeah, my grandma taught me everything. Like I love my grandma. I, was, I had to get high at my grandma's funeral. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, my cousin, she had to give me something because I was going through it. <laughs> but when T.A. passed away, I was devastated. That's where we all used to be at. I, I, I know they ain't in the house. 
But yeah. That's who made me start rapping. T.A. begged me to rap. And he kept on saying, sis, you really than all these niggas out here. You really live that life. You really, really like, really bought that shit. Whatever you, yeah. You get on money. Like, he used to always post me up. Like, he used to encourage me to do this shit all the time. Like, and I'm like, bro, who is rapping? <laughs> you, ain't nobody gonna like me rapping. And I really, he passed away and I really made a song. It was like how it happened. It was like really meant for me to do this song. Like, somebody, my my girlfriend, Baby Father, was in the studio and the, they had picked the baby up and that's my godson. And the man had ended up writing me the producer. And he was like, you wanna do music? I was like, yeah. Fuck it, I guess. And I gave that there and I made it song. They ain't charged me nothing, like, we just made a song. It took me two days, I wrote it. I wrote it in the studio. And then ever since then, I just kept on going. Like, I, I felt like I was, had to do it. Like, I like it. I never thought about it like, oh, you work at the bar, you really be in the mix. Like, I never thought about like, like, oh, that shit gonna be popping. No, I never thought about it like it's gonna be popping. Like, I thought like is this gonna be a song you going through something like the fuck you on your like, like cause I was on the verge of Sub Ju I was on the verge of going back to like on my snack mode. I ain't know what to do at that time. Sub Ju, how you? Ah, that's right. What you mean? Might gonna have to get one after this. Okay. Book. I left my it juice bag at the right wheel. Yeah. We ain't gotta go no more front. Alright, bet. <laughs> I'm crying. We really walk around here. Uh, nah, but we gave him a little little tour through. You gave him a little story while we was on the way to the block. So let's let's get let's jump back a little bit, my man, because you know a lot of people that know you may not be too familiar with like your upbringing and stuff like that. So explain like your household and what your childhood was like. Um, my childhood, it was good. I ain't gonna say it was bad. Um, my mom did anything for us. It don't matter if she get booked for it, she doing anything for it. Period. She don't give a fuck about her kids. We gonna be dripped up, dripped out. You hear me? Ladies start boxing. That's where I got that from. She even went pro. But she so your mom was boxing? She went pro. That's why I'm, she's the original seat ball. That's when you meet her, that's Don Dada. <laughs> she still be in the mix with it. She don't give a fuck. Knock a big head, bitch head off. Period. She don't care. Period. The lady don't care. So that's where you get that, that rumbling from, huh? All right. Okay. Hey, y'all. What's up, cuz? So, yeah. But my life wasn't bad. I had a good life. Um, my dad, he was around. You so sickening. Where everybody at? Uh, my dad, he was around. Uh... I ain't have a bad life. I ain't going to it. <laughs> I'm not going to it. Nope. <laughs> I ain't going to do it. But, um, yeah. My mom was like my best friend. She used to tell me everything, do anything for us. But me and my mom was so much alike. It was just like, we clashed so much. Like, the lady was crazy. She just got crazy. I love her to death. All right. Siblings, how many? I have a sister named Nadia, a niece named Nova. I have a little brother named Corby, a little brother named Jamal. That's my dad's side. And two stepbrothers, Keith and Kevin. Free my bro. Period. All right. My bro doing some time. Love you. We gonna get you that pill, whatever. Fuck, baby. All right. Shit. So, uh... School. How was your school experience? 
because I off camera, but you know, I heard you on DJ Crazy talking, and you had said something that kind of caught my attention about how you got kicked out of a lot of different schools you was in. Yeah, I got kicked out of every school I was in except for CEP. That's the last year of that school. That's why, I, and I went to Boom. So you hold time out. So you really was spicy, like, cause you went to all all the uh, behavior well, I schools. Admit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that. She's rough. Don't do that, guys. She's talented. Period, cuz. Alright. Yeah, my man in the background, it would be okay, but he basically co cool sided like she rough. Yeah, the woman award, she would get it. Period. Yeah, yeah. Like Period. Yeah. Yeah. So you went to all of the behavior jokes. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. <laughs> He yeah. played a song. He played too much. How about that? But yeah, you went to CP and Boone, like Mansion University City, Amaya. Uh, I had the fucking. I ended up fighting one of my friends, my, one of my childhood friends, because she hit me with a ball upside my fucking head, a basketball. I had to apologize to the bitch for me to graduate. <laughs> I got my motherfucker award though. I was with that jag in the back with the top down. What happened? Back in the day, we had to... yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she shot. Yeah. My mom had me in that nice ass dress. She did hair. I used to do the hair shows, like all the hair shows. We come first place, Sesame Street, all types of shit. I was a street oh, sign, oh, all types of shit. Here we go. Alright, sorry. So now let's get back. Go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bye. Oh, 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 oh. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it is. Flaming out this drink. Hey, mom. Hey. How you doing? Hey, I shot my video in here. Me and my mirror. That shit was lit. I was going in. I was like, ah, mirror, mirror on the wall. Yeah, y'all remember I was over my spike in front of the joint. What y'all want to drink? Look at that cranberry apple joint. Cranberry apple? Mm -hmm. Um, what you want to drink, bro? Get water or juice? Uh, like a good juice, because no soda right now. Yeah, give me, give, give me a juice. Like, I'll take your recommendation. You're healthy. You know she like queen healthy. Oh, I take she vitamins. a cook, too. Yes, She'll tell could. you, like, how to eat, Period. how to drink. I take my vitamins <laughs> Real every day. I don't play. Woo. This lady was sick last night. I almost died. Yeah, I, I don't know what was going on. And I was like, you know what I said when I got when I got lost? I gotta take my vitamins. I ain't take them in two days. That's like what it is. No, I gotta take my vitamins. All right, so I'll get you a sick music cramer. Chef, y'all got a boutique. I got a boutique. 
I got my sex toys. Pussy pleaser. Period. Oh yeah, let's get let's get to that. Let's get yeah. to that. Don't, don't don't just skip past that. Let's 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 dive into that a little bit. So you got your own sex toy? Yes. The pussy pleaser vibrator. So it's a vibrator. Yes, it's a vibrator. It can go ten different motions, five different speeds. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so it. so it's a bit like females that's watching this they could go get that joint right now. Yeah. Sure can. How they could get that joint? Instagram, write me on Instagram, trying to be the And I'll bring it to you before you come to me. But I'm about to start doing online. This month that's what I'm getting together now. I'm about to do my online and my packaging. I'm getting my packaging together. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so you got that. The entrepreneur situation, your own sure. your own product. Yeah. You're doing the music thing, so let's let's dive into that a little bit more because you gave him a brief rundown. How long you been doing music? Cause it ain't been that long. It's been like, yeah, a couple years. <laughs> know what I mean, so I seen you been dropping vids and yeah. songs and stuff like to, that. We about to drop crazy because we're going to crazy, crazy production, period. Okay, we're going to drop crazy. <laughs> it's going to be so crazy. I just want them to know me as an artist. That's why it took me a while to, to come out like I wasn't in a rush because I really want to know them to know me. Like, you feel me? My first project is Beijing. My second project is going to be Nights in China. Nights in China. Hmm. Every night a different... Period. Period. Oh my God. Every night, every different mood of me. Like, period. Gotcha. And then I, I just gotta make a couple more songs because I just like to keep on having more material, more material, more material. But yeah, mostly it's, it's done. And baby, as far as how we carry it, baby, you hear me? Ha, nigga, tell you got fucking hustle. I'm saying that's how we bumming out here, baby. CMB, that's how we bumming out here. C Raw, hottest in the city, baby. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Hey, you alright? Yeah. Hottest in the city, real rap. And there's no cap rap either. Got some hitters with me, got some killers with me, boy. Says they go back, go back, go back. She got some killers with us. She got some killers with her. They just came home, but bought her for a sense they go back. And that's no bet. That's no bet. That's how we carry. It's cool. That's how we. That's how we carry these low tees. I mean, I'm saying that's how we carry it. BBM. That's how we carry it. Oh, Tim is away. They don't get no more. Her friends right was outside. There. They hopping out on him. Uh, Walking through the hood with Philly Fan TV. Philly Fan TV. You see the dame. It's right. some live. This, it's not playing, Joe. Yeah, yeah, right, it's, right. it's live. Live and direct. Go ahead, plug your, your, your shit with DJ Crazy. Go ahead, plug your shit. At DJ Crazy215, you know, manager of EVM China, um, Unapproved Yanni. We out here in the trenches, man. We in Oak. Taking you a, uh, you know, um, a walk through the princess of North Philly, you feel what I'm saying, hood, letting y'all get to know her. You feel me? Like, we working on a lot of her projects. She said Beijing, nice in China, Beijing dropping first. You feel me? Nice in China, the follow up project. But yeah, man, I'm here with Philly Fame TV, man. It's just a blessing, bro. You know, I met, bro, like, what, two, two months ago. We did, we uh, knocked out 100 Proof. Oh, now we knocked out y'all. Yeah, you feel me? You put y'all really, put y'all back in y'all seats like MTV oh, no. Cribs, bro. Getting y'all into the lives of the artists, bro. Fuck on your phone. If you gonna be on your phone watching Philly Fame TV, nigga, you on your couch, bro. Like back in the day, Family Matter shit, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Early. Philly Fame. Early. Early. <laughs> Go ahead, plug, plug the YouTube, plug all the social media, uh, plug out. Let me get my everything. Instagram is all the same thing. YouTube, Instagram, all major platforms. Trying to. Yeah. Everything is the same, so it could be simple for y'all. Because I don't like the complicated stuff, and y'all writing me all the complicated stuff. Because I write everybody back. Don't say I write. I'm getting Hollywood, none of that. It's a lot of messages, but <laughs> I get to everybody. I try, except for them niggas. Bye. Oh man. Oh. Uh, so is you, you. So you leaving the more what? What? Red scene? What's it? What is it? Yeah, like. I don't yeah, I got you, got you. All right, anything else you want to let the people know we ain't get a chance to touch on yet? Um, they might have forgot about. Anything else they should know? They might have forgot about. Get down that bitch. Period. And don't forget it. And that's all. <laughs> and that's all. All right, so we from a city where, you know, 
Philly, you know, home of the spitters, the rappers, especially females. We got a nice amount of female artists. Right. Date back to Eve, even before that, Bahamadea, Miss J, Nina Ross, all types of female artists. So now we got the new era with you, you know, 100 Proof Yandy, yeah. Rocky. A lot, it's a lot yeah. of females in the city doing their thing. Yeah. So speak a little bit on that, because a lot of y'all rock with each other too. So speak a little bit on, you know, female unity in the city and what it's like being a female artist coming really out of the city. Like I love what Philly is doing. I feel like we are very underrated, period. We wanted to be so like different. Like every everything it be so different, especially from the females. Um the men, I like the men too, but I'm really in take with the, the females, like. And I like a lot of the energy that the females give with each other because it could a lot of people be in competition with each other. I don't give that. I don't I'm not that's why I try to stay in my own lane. I ain't doing I'm not saying I can't do that, but I'm just trying to be on some other shit. You feel me? Cause I ain't doing no getting. We ain't no beef. No beef. You hear me? I ain't with it. <laughs> Don't come to me. Be here, me guys. Look at all. Bro, she done made it for us and she's still in the trenches to like keeping that shit real with everybody like really like reaching out like that her right there I fucks with her period. that's my sis period. yeah she doing her thing shout out yeah. to her way. shout out to her period that's uh, my sis all right, um, I know I'm missing a lot of Nyleen my sis period she <laughs> hello I know I'm missing but I love y'all whoever it is it's a, it's a nice amount <laughs> I mean, it's, it's quite right a few. It's, it's like, quite a. It's a good. It's a good look right now. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a good look right now. Yeah. All right. There's nothing about it. Right. So speak a little bit on what it's like being a female in a male-dominated, you know, situation, having to deal with, you know, all the male energy being a female. I never. People were telling me that, like, when you do feature with men now, that it is competition. I thought it wasn't. I thought that's why men be wanting women on their shit. Hey, baby. That's how women. Why men want women on their stuff. But people telling me no, they feel like they're in competition with you. Like, I thought that's why they like women on their shit. But I don't know. I don't pay niggas no mind. <laughs> yeah, fuck with you, I fuck with you. But I ain't paying you no mind though. <laughs> Period. Bullshit ain't shit. The fuck? What these niggas? <laughs> Them niggas. Period. <laughs> All right, so I seen a while ago you was on uh, featured on the Come Up show with Cosmic Kev and yes, all that. I love that's mm -hmm. So speak a I little bit on Cosmic. that. I love Kev, period. He threw, period. All the way around the board. Because he didn't have to do that. Like, he came to me and like, I didn't even feel like I was ready. I was like, oh my fucking God, my stars, I'm going to pass out. This man just asked me, am I ready? You got bars? I'm like, nigga, who you talking to? I got bars. You ready for what? Me? <laughs> me? And I really did that shit. Yeah, yeah. You ready for this? Maybe let's get Uh huh. Classic ish ah. like this. Come on. It's C raw, spit it raw, and I ain't falling for shit. I fall for a nigga, pops, for I fall for the dick. Shit, I could be a gold digger for a bitch, nigga, chips. For I fuck a broke nigga, they ain't got no sense. A nigga gotta have something if he fucking with me. He got used to basic bitches, they ain't fucking with me. It's bad bitch, the mafia, they ain't coming for me. Cause that's a bunch of duck bitches, they ain't nothing to me. I'm from the block with two C's, the gang sign. The baseline, the shooter bang like Nate Rob. I don't waste time for niggas that only FaceTime. It's a hate crime, you bitches just wanna waste time. You would I was so scared, y'all. But I did that shit. It's like, don't you know when you gotta fight like a boxing match and you got that drilling run, it's like, you gotta do this shit. I don't give a fuck. You gotta get out here and you gotta do this shit. Like, and that's how it felt. Like, you gotta do it. My mom right there, she my hype up artist. Don't play. Don't play with C-Raw. <laughs> 
Speaking of, uh, of, of boxing, like getting your adrenaline running, you had a little boxing match with another little Philly. I had three. Who I had the boxing match? With? Uh, one of the more recent ones, I guess I seen, cause I seen one of them online. It was with another, I guess you would call it like a social media personality or artist or who was the person? I know somebody from Philly. Some it was a, it was some uh y'all had. had to get somebody to fight me because the other girl wouldn't fight me, but she gonna say it the week of the fight. Yeah. Bitchin'. <laughs> That's on her. Huh? And dick the other lady too. Sorry. <laughs> Give me mine. Hello, China. Period. Bang, 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 bang. Fuck back. Oh my god, you hit me like you don't like me, bitch. I like you. Give me a. <laughs> I fucking like you, girl. Why you don't think I like you? <laughs> Right. Why would you get in the ring with me knowing that I was gonna hit you? What the fuck you thought I was gonna do? Bing. And I'm like, and I stopped the fight. I'm like, yo, run with me. Like, fight. Hit me. The fuck? What you want me to let you hit me like 10 times? Like, damn, you ain't like doing nothing, mama. I ain't feel nothing. <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> I'm on the clock, niggas, man. My fit. I think that's the joint I'm talking about. Yeah, worth that's the joint I'm talking Niggas about. Niggas was betting on me when I sat out the ring. They give me look, four thousand, three thousand. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, you done made me win all this fucking money. We knew it. Yeah, thank you, fuck you, me. Like, I'm like, uh, they was. I see the video. Niggas was throwing money as soon as I start swinging. They in the air with it. They love me violent, but I ain't doing that no more. <laughs> Y'all love me violent. Y'all love that shit. <laughs> they love that shit. They be here. <laughs> they like, see where I'm from, see where I'm from. Pull your camera out. No. Size of the bitches that make me. Shit, All right, but now you boy on the positive, though. You want yeah, some, like people. You want some I rapid? Like people. Yeah, yeah, you on the rap? I'm bad at fire people. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Princess hood join, period. Say take the hood from me. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> um, all right, man, on that, on that note, we gonna sign off for there. We definitely gonna have to uh, give him another drink coming soon. Like, coming soon. Like, seriously, you gotta give him some more of that China, man. Seriously. Early. Get it. Early. <laughs>